Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about nursing jobs and salaries in Luxembourg, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with how can you actually become a nurse in Luxembourg, because I found that it's not so easy. So because of the profession that it's specific, you have to actually validate your diploma and your experience, and I have written down the stuff that I found. I don't know how accurate it is, but I assume it is because it sounds legit. So let's start with what do you need to actually even be able to apply for the jobs as a nurse in Luxembourg. Sorry if I'm looking down because I'm looking at my notes. So you need authorization to practice the profession for which you will have to apply through the government website and basically what you will need is a copy of your passport, then criminal records from the country of residence in which you are living and then they cannot be older than six months. You also need a copy of your diploma and the transcript of record from your nursing school. So you have to have the certificate if you actually finish nursing degree. Then you will have to attach your CV, which we're going to explain your experience. And another thing is that you have to show the certificate of the good health, both mentally and physically, which you have to get from the doctor. Again, maximum six months old. Another thing that they're going to require you is a birth certificate and 75 euro tax that you have to pay in order to even apply. Then, of course, you will have to fill in the application that they provide you on a website from Luxembourg government. You have to show the proof of the languages, and in most of the cases, unfortunately, it's all the languages in Luxembourg. That makes, I would say, the most difficult part, because you have to know French, German, and Luxembourgish on level B2. But if I were you, I would confirm it before, because I found it only on one place, this information. But if it's true, that's going to make finding the job very difficult. And you have to show the previous experience because technically you should have at least one year of experience before coming to Luxembourg. So these are the things that I found about nursing jobs, like how to even start. And now we're going to move into the job post and I'm going to show you a little bit about salaries and how does it work in Luxembourg. So now if I look down, that means that I'm looking at my computer. So this is a website that I found the information about the languages that you need for jobs and all the description, what, how can you get the information. I think this website actually may be super, super useful for people who try to do nursing abroad and it's called nurseabroad.in and it's dividing by every country. And what they say also, before we move to the job post, is that they say that the average pay for six, eight years of experienced nurses is roughly 62k to 128k, and they put it in dollars, so it's right now more or less the same in Europe. But it's extremely difficult to get the job over there. So, yeah. For sure, also, I want to highlight that people who are from European Union, I'm pretty sure that they have much easier path to do so. Probably the languages is still concerned, but at least they have recognized diplomas without any issues. You don't have to prove anything because most, if not all, universities in Europe, European Union, actually they are recognized overall in European Union. So now let's move to the job post. So I use today MoviJob. That works quite well. I didn't find a lot of jobs or LinkedIn or Glassdoor. So MoviJob was the best place that I could have found the jobs from. And for example, you can already tell there were 92 results for the jobs, which doesn't sound bad at all for the country of 600,000 people. So let's go to the first job post that I uh, found. I'm also going to highlight the companies that they are from. So first of all, this is Ion. XT Lab. It's in Ludelange, which is quite close to Luxembourg City. So this one is not, I mean, everything is close to Luxembourg City, but this one is very, very close. And this is a nurse, midwife, sampler, sampling technician, spoken language, French and English. And then there are some functions which you can read by yourself. And then the profile, desired experience in the private and or public sector, state diploma in nursing, authorization to practice the profession in Luxembourg. So that's the document I was talking about. So even if the job requires requires you technically to speak only English and French. This is a problem, if it's true that we need three languages. Skills and qualities required, good knowledge of medical terminology and nomenclature of medical biology acts and ABM. <laughs> whatever they are. Knowledge of Luxembourgish and or German is an additional asset. Rigor and sense of organization, interpersonal skills, be dynamic, autonomous and flexible, be driving license and private car. We offer you a remuneration adapted to your skills and experience, a pleasant working environment and the opportunity to take part in launch and development of a new and innovative medical analysis laboratory. Send your application and uh, put the reference number using the 
form below and the form below is basically this thing so it's very easy to apply the job doesn't look like they want so much of it but for sure french next one a nurse and this one is actually by randstad and i very much recommend you i don't know for nursing but for many jobs i really really recommend you to send your cvs to randstad as they call manpower they are companies that may help you a lot with finding a job that's actually where i found my first proper job after my traineeship and i got extended and now i have a cvi which is a permanent contract so i don't know how it works with visa and everything else but it helps you a lot with finding a job attached to your profile okay so this one is interim contract that's very usual thing uh, with Randstad that you get an interim contract which means that it's a fixed term contract it's a full-time job and there we are your mission you can read it through and then your profile you speak french perfectly at least c1 and have a good level of english minimum c1 you are in possession of nursing diploma and authorization to practice in luxembourg you have a first successful experience in similar position so yeah that's a very short explanation of what you're gonna do compass that's another company and do the lunch which looks for nurses of course you need french and they look for city i home care uh, brand for 28 hours a week so that's already a nice information about what you're gonna like how many hours per week you're gonna work the nurse is taking charge of well-being of elderly dependent clients in order to ensue their comfort hygiene safety and care in collaboration with the doctor the paramedical team and the family and this is in order to guarantee maximum autonomy he she provides nursing care on his her own initiative or on medical prescription evaluates the effectiveness of care or treatment and reports to the team and the attending physician the working hours may vary according to the schedule morning afternoon weekends and public holidays so this is also very important information but correct me if i'm wrong i think in nursing sector and doctors and all the healthcare you actually have to kind of be around the clock anyways so you for sure if you start your work it's going to be like this you can read through the responsibilities and activity you can always pause the video so don't worry that i'm scrolling and uh, required skill technical skills state diploma in nursing undertake uh, to learn luxembourgish uh yeah <laughs> everybody wants to learn luxembourgish have the authorization to practice in luxembourg very nice thing actually is that if you're going to learn luxembourgish and you're going to be here for five years you can get luxembourgish passport so at some point probably you will learn luxembourgish if you're not from european union maybe from european union as well because luxembourgish passport is quite nice required knowledge support for a dying person and their family pain management pressure sore and inconvenience treatment techniques computer skills excellent word and driving license be essential personal skills uh, make quick and efficient decisions cope with a uh, difficult and repetitive emotional situation accept and respect the logic of patient demonstrate patience and human qualities maintain an interest and prolonged level of alertness, respects the safety and hygiene rules, clean work clothes, tight hair, jewelry prohibited, team working, respect to confidentiality of records, get informed and trained to adapt to any situation. In case of equipment, we will ask you for an extract of the records dating from less, uh, less than three months, your ID, your valid authorization to practice in Grand Duchy of luxembourg and yeah and that's basically the thing how you can work next one this one was in french and i had to translate it so i'm pretty sure the job will be also requiring french and this one is in another city in luxembourg paper leg and it's looking for a north 75 90 percent cdi for canada or for canada or canada is something else i don't know they want you to speak french german and luxembourgish here is the job description and your skills speak french or german and level to b2 luxembourgish or learning in progress so you see that already kind of contradicts what i read about the requirements to even get the authorization hold a recognized nursing diploma as well as a license to practice in luxembourg have a first experience in the field of geriatrics master computer tools know the framework assessments and sas and the luxembourg healthcare uh, health system be dynamic a self-controlled patient available flexible and accessible work with an, a multidisciplinary team be able to listen and emphasize we offer you a challenge to take up in a new environment interested candidates can send a motivation letter and cv with a recent photo the successful candidate must submit a luxembourgish records upon hiring all applications will be treated with strict confidentiality so it's another job that looks 
quite nice to find. Next one, Hari Hope. That one I'm pretty sure is also translated. It's in root, apparently it's somewhere in Luxembourg. It's for beginners. This is the position description and the profile holder recognized nursing diploma as well as a license to practice in Luxembourg. Have a first experience in the field of geriatrics is a plus. Mastery of French language, Luxembourg is a real plus. Mastery in computer science, knowing the framework as in the previous job post. Being dynamic, again, working in a multiple, multiple disciplinary team and being able to listen and emphasize. That post is very similar to that one. Next, internal medicine nurse. And this one is for CHL, so it's Luxembourg uh, Hospital Center and it's in Luxembourg in Bel Air, uh, so quite nice place. And they look for internal medicine nurse with French and Luxembourgish, of course. <laughs> an internal medicine nurse for an initial um, medicine unit Oncogeriatric VB side I, whatever it means, for an uh, in a indefinite full time period, hundred percent the assignment, main tasks, and required profile, diploma and license for nursing, recent work experience in the hospital, and work experience with internal medicine, cardiology, or pulmonology, complementary training. Uh, language skills, French, Luxembourgish, knowledge of any additional language will be a plus. Theoretical and practical knowledge of overall care of patient, of the different fields of internal medicine, of the rules of hand, uh, handling of the elderly, of the prevention of risk related to fragility. Professional qualities, analytical mind and sense of priorities, initiative, autonomy, clinical judgment and critical thinking, ability to manage successful situations, ability to adapt and organize, develop relational sense and reception capacity, discretion, politeness, availability, patience, emotional maturity, sense of responsibility, intellectual curiosity and willingness to train, sense of responsibility and order, ability to question oneself and open-mindedness, tolerance and compliance. So there are a lot of like things about loyalty and being very good with patients. So I would say nurses, like the typical description of nurse, and then the hours are as follows, 6.30 a.m. to 3, 10 a.m. to 6, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., 9.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. and variable according to the activities of the service. So yeah, that's very nice information. What are your working hours and your shifts? And now we, I'm not gonna read them because they are all in French, I'm pretty sure. If there's another one in English, I will read, but I will show you more or less based on the names of the companies and where you can find them. So this one is Servior, Servio, Servio, I don't speak French, probably it's in French. Again, another one with this one, another post from the Hospital of Luxembourg. This one is, for example, for the nurse in psychiatry, Medicines du Monde, so Medicine of the Word in Esch, Alive Pulse ASBL, they want a CBD for 5 to 36 hours per week. Again, Luxembourgish hospital, but then you have a surgery for general vascular and trauma, but basically specific, different specific uh, units. Just a nurse and foyer de jour non senior treasure, treasure. Don't laugh at my French, I know it's terrible. I mean, it's not existing, but basically a senior center, compass, my job best, again, Bion XT lab that has it in German, anesthesiologist nurse, and the last one it's for kids and urgencies. And there's one more that is very interesting on Glassdoor, the clinical research nurse. It's in Strassen, the key accountability and the skills. Again, they want you to have that driving license, which is super random for me. Uh, of course, the degree and authorization, two years of experience in the hospital or healthcare network, preferably experience in clinical research, being able to work independently, uh, to learn, being proactive, well organized, good communication skills, responsible and flexible, and IT skills they want you to know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, and if you have any experience with databases, that would be great, and language skills, Luxembourgish, French, German, and English are required, Portuguese is considered as an asset, and these are the job description. Now what I found about salaries, because that was very, very difficult task, I have to be very honest with you. So. How many nurses make in Luxembourg? Apparently around 60k per year euro, which is around 31 euro per hour. But as you can tell, the data is not super wide because they show that low and high is exactly the same. Median, bi-weekly, weekly, daily, hourly, just a division. 
Next one that I found is 88,000 per year on average, which gives us 43 euro per hour. And then I found this website. Sorry for so many ads. I don't know why they, I mean, I know why they pop up because I literally was on the movie job website. But this website, uh, another one, Salary Explorer, also very recommending. It says that a person working in nursing in Luxembourg typically earns around 475k per month. Salary ranges from 3k to 9k. And this is divided. You can take a look. You can pause for different type of nurses. So around 25% gains the least, which is 3.5k per month. This is the gain salary range. Uh, median salary per month, it's 4.8k. And how the salary changes with your experience. If you surpass the two years, you're going to get 32% uh, increase, then it's 36% increase. And then from 10 years to 15 years, it's 21% increase. And so on and so on, as you can see. So you have a good trajectory of your income. Now it's very hot topic as well between my friends. We actually spoke about it yesterday, but salary comparison by gender. So women gain a little bit more than men actually in nursing. But if you compare it to all the careers, normally men are gaining 5% more than women, which is still super small in Europe or all over the world. Then also they say that there's an 8% increment rate for every 20 months of your work, which is quite nice. Where in comparison to the national statistics, it's a little bit less because national statistics shows that every 17 months is 8% and for nurses every 20 months. And now we can move to another website that's again mentioning 88k per hour, uh, per year, not, I, I wish 88k per hour. Then on one of the website I've seen that there are a ranking of the top paying countries for nursing and actually Luxembourg was mentioned as the first one. It's in USD because it's a probably American website, but here they mention 81k, which would probably match what we saw on the other website in Europe. So yeah, that's what I preferred about nursing. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's usual, if it's easy or not to go to Luxembourg, how difficult it is in other countries. What do you think that the job opportunity was and the salaries? So I'm very curious. These videos are actually super interesting for me. So also if you're interested in something else, probably from healthcare sector or any other sector, let me know in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to make a video about it. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be very, very happy if you hit the like button. That way this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk about Luxembourg, working here, salaries and overall expenses. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I will leave the video about jobs in demand in Luxembourg and the Luxembourgish jobs playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.